Hey guys, in this video I'm going to do a induction proof. So this one says prove that 5 to the 2n minus 1 is divisible by 8 for all n in the natural numbers. So we're going to prove this using the principle of mathematical induction. So that's the first line I'm going to write in my proof. To use induction we're first going to prove the base case. So the base case is going to be when n equals 1 and that's going to give us 5 to the 2 times 1 minus 1 is equal to 5 squared minus 1 which is equal to 24 which is equal to 8 times 3 so that is divisible by 8 obviously so we say thus 5 to the 2n minus 1 is divisible by 8 when n equals 1 and the base case holds now, following the steps that we always do for induction, we're going to say for some k in n, suppose that 5 to the 2k minus 1 is divisible by 8, and we're going to use that to prove that for any k plus 1 in n, it also holds, and thus will hold for any n in n. So we're going to say assume for some n where n is equal to the letter k in the naturals, 5 to the 2k minus 1 is divisible by 8. So we're going to assume that that is true and just to specify we're defining divisible by 8 to be the following that there exists some p in the integers so it could be negative or positive such that 5 to the 2k minus 1 is equal to 8 times p. So if 5 to the 2k minus 1 is divisible by 8, you're always going to be able to have 8 times some integer in the other side of the equation. So that is our definition of being divisible by 8. And now we're going to use what we assumed to prove that it also holds for k plus 1. So then for k plus 1, we have, and we're going to plug in k plus 1 where there's k, so 2 times k plus 1 minus 1, and we're going to just manipulate this until we can get it to some multiple of 8 to prove that it is divisible by 8 as well. So this is going to be, first we'll just distribute the 2, so that's 2k plus 2 minus 1, and this is equal to 5 2k times 5 squared minus 1, which is going to be equal to 5 to the 2k times 25 minus 1. If we use our induction step, we have 5 to the 2k is equal to 8p plus 1. So if we move the 1 over, we can plug in 8p plus 1 for the 5 to the 2k. So if we do that, we're going to have 8p plus 1 times 25 minus 1. If we distribute the 25 to these parentheses, we're going to have 8 times p times 25 plus 25 minus 1. So that's going to give us 8 times p times 25 plus 24, which we already know is divisible by 8 because that was the base case. So we can pull out an 8 and have it be times p times 25 plus 3. And we are essentially done because we've basically shown that for any k plus 1, we also have an integer times 8. So we're just going to say that because p is an integer, then p times 25 plus 3 is also an integer. Since p is an integer, 25p or p times 25 plus 3 is also an integer. Thus, 5 to the 2 times k plus 1 minus 1 is divisible by 8. And lastly, we're going to say thus by the principle of mathematical induction, which I will just abbreviate PMI, 5 to the 2n minus 1 is divisible by 8 for any n in n. And we are done with this proof.